Can you delete all that footage of what I was on call in the police? Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Houston Logistics. We've got Panther Logistics experts just entering the site now. This is in Sywell Road, Wellingborough. Now, this is very close to Sywell Airfield, so we will not be able to get the drone up on this one. But I've not covered this company before. Yeah, so it just says we operate more than 595 distribution centers in 355 cities, in 47 countries and regions. So no matter who our customers are or where they're based, we deliver world-class service time and time again. A bit on the website it says aerospace, automotive, food, healthcare, and retail. Oh, and technology. So it looks a very secure site, electric gates, and they are all in operation. Some site rules here. We have a 10 mile an hour speed limit. All vehicles must turn left. Okay, one way system. Warning to the pedestrians, the vehicles moving, the forklifts, high vis must be worn. Safety footwear, no unauthorized persons and all contractors must sign in. So Pamphlet Logistics are just speaking to security to get their clearance to enter site. And we've got one coming out as well. So it looks like the gate is operated manually on that post there. How unusual is that? Surely they should have some sort of button in the gate house to open that. Okay. Yeah. Just want to get the vehicle coming out. We're with you in a moment. I'll speak to you in a minute. I'll just get this truck coming out. There you go, permission. Excuse me, you need to have permission to do it. It's alright. Yeah, you need to stop doing it. Move out of the way. No, you need to have permission to do it. Why are you taking the phone, Russell? So I'll talk to you once the truck's done. Yeah, you've got permission to do it. Yeah, got it. What are you doing it for? What permission? You've got permission to actually take footage of our site? Who's told you that? Well, it's used in the site. It's, can't just take permission. What, we're taking it for. What's the reason for it? Let's cover one point at a time. Yeah. Who's told you that? I don't know, who, who are you? In, in, is, is it written down anywhere? I've got to give us permission, it's like what site is used in site, say. So. Yeah, are you going on your lunch, are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Off you go, mate. All right, my supervisor will speak to you. So the supervisor must be that one there. Eh? I think he's just said, just take it off him, something like that. But when the guy is clearly just about to go on his lunch, I think that's what he should do. Just go on your lunch and don't talk absolute nonsense about permission. I don't know. Well, clearly, on the public footpath with a zebra crossing, their site clearly starts where the concrete uh, line is on the ground. So these certainly do need a bit of education, don't they? Can you delete all that footage of what I was on call in the police? Why do I need to delete it? What are you filming for? Why do I need to delete it? Yeah, what are you filming for? Come on, tell me. Why do I need no, to delete it? No, what are you filming for? Why are you asking? No, I'm asking because you're filming private property. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you got something to hide or what? It doesn't matter whether there's anything that you're filming private property. We've got to get permission for you to actually keep that footage. 
Oh, go and get it then. We are. You don't, don't bother me. We are, but why Why are you filming a distribution site? Why are you coming out to tell me I've got to delete it? I, w I want to understand why you're saying this. Why? Because of security reasons. Right. Yeah. Security reasons. Why are you filming? You ask, You tell me that question. Because of security reasons, your site is very secure. Look at all your gates. Nobody can go on there. Yes, but so why? So me filming is not going to affect security, is it? It can do. It How? depends where you're going to send it. What, don't you want people to see your gates? Is that what you're saying? Not particularly. But Google Maps, the street view. Yeah, street view. You can see it on street view. So but why, I don't have get you, you why have you come to a, a distribution site to film? First of all, you've come out asking me to delete it. I just want to understand why, because at the why? moment you're saying... Because really, cause of... really, you're on use and property, and if, um, if the use and security ask you to delete footage because they don't want their footage being sent here, there and everywhere... Yeah. Yeah. But like I said to you, I'm not taking any footage that the street view car, Google, pe that's already shown people exactly what I'm seeing. Yes, but why are you So what's the problem? Why, why, do you need to do, why do you need to come here and film Well, it? I just don't know why you're coming out telling me to delete it. I mean, if I have to delete it, I will, but I don't think... Is, well, is this... we're, we're, just, we're just saying about that. Do you want to just come into the gatehouse? No, I'm all right. Because am I right in thinking that this is a... The zebra crossing. I don't, I don't, don't know. This zebra crossing was put in by Euston, as far as I know. No, it wasn't. Okay. This is a zebra crossing for the public footpath. Yeah, it is for the public your footpath. Euston, your Euston land starts where the concrete line is. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? Possibly, yeah. But so anything that the member of the public are doing yeah, outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Why you wasn't. You was no, ordering. All, all I'm doing is wondering why you actually come to a distribution site and filming. Yeah, you're allowed to wonder that, and I'm wondering why you're coming out telling a member of the public to delete footage and stop filming. Well, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, unless you want to tell me... I've, I've tried to understand your point, right. and so far the I thing can't, is, we I can't could, understand. We could actually call the police and we could do it that way. What, waste police time for this? For somebody taking some I've photos? Before. You've wasted police time before? I've, I've called police on people filming before. What did I they have. say? Well, first of all, I'm asking you the reason why you're filming. If, you, if you're gonna film, then put that onto websites or send it as, you know, say, say we had a break in. Say something happened over the next week or so. Someone, someone come in here, uh, obviously broke in, got in, stole a lot of stuff. Do you know who the main suspect's gonna be? Who? You. Am I showing them anything more than the Google Street car did? Probably not. But so why won't, but won't, the, won't Google be the suspect? It seems that you're filming. You filmed a lorry going down along the road, which you can't see on Google Maps unless they actually capture it when they're coming past. Exactly. Google Maps has caught loads of lorries. Yeah. So, do you, do you know what? Right. Do you know if I enjoy standing here on a public footpath filming any anything interesting that I enjoy? Surely I've got a right to do that. Okay. And you, kept, you coming out, telling me to delete it, telling me to stop. No, I'm... It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so I'm asking you the reason why then. Why are you filming? Because I enjoy it, because I want to do it. Okay, there's some sheep over there. Go film that. I thought that I could choose what I decide to film and not a security guard, if that's okay. That's quite uh, rude. Telling me what I should be filming. Don't waste the police time, please. So he said that there's some sheep over there. Go and film the sheep. Okay. We'll film the sheep, shall we? There's no lambs, though. I like the little ones. They're a bit too big for me. They're not cute enough, are they? So, Euston Logistics. I certainly have not covered one of your sites before, but I have now. You're not coming for me as well, are you? Uh, I'm from the site, the guys have just called me. So, j just want to just find out what, what's happened. What... That's a better approach, I like <laughs> you. Sorry. 
So, yeah, go on. On industrial estates, yep. there's very interesting things happening. Okay. Okay. Moving things even more so. Yeah. A vehicle's just been moving, coming out with a 40 foot shipping container. Yeah. It's footage. So it's creating content. And nowadays, creating content is very popular. Yeah. And it even pays. Okay. So I remain on a public footpath. Yeah. Don't interfere. I've not approached them, they approach me. Yeah. The way they approached will be shown on the video. Okay. It's for educational purposes. Usen will learn from what just happened. Yeah. Then. Okay. When they're SIA licensed, they have to go through certain training. And one of those is how to deal with members of the public. Yeah. And photography now is becoming very popular. Now, yeah, I've got, and I do yeah. not expect that. I, I don't know what happened. I just got a phone call and said there's someone here. We've asked him to stop and he won't. So that's why I've come down. The fact that they've asked me so to stop. So I wanted to, to find out what happened. Why would you stop a photographer doing a yeah. lawful activity out on a public footpath? Yeah. And, and yeah, you're right. You're on a public area. That's that's fine. Like, you know, you're well within your rights to film. That's it's what it is, right? It's, so when it's they the rang you up to say he won't stop, you should have said, is outside, leave him alone. Well, I, that, that's why I said I'll come down. Because rather than do it over the phone, I always like to come and find okay. out what's okay. happening myself i'd rather speak to the other person as well rather than just get one side right yeah so that's fine um yeah look you're within your rights to to film obviously i'm not I'm not going to stop you um yeah that's fine as, like i say obviously as long as you don't go onto the site and you're not on the road because we don't obviously want you getting hurt by any of our trucks either that's that's fine all yeah. right before you go i was yep. just reading the website I, I wanted to tell the viewers some interesting it, facts yeah and um it says that you have 631 of these around the world. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. a lot. So you must be massive. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, big company. Big and company. Is there anything you wanted to say in a nutshell? What, why you're different to anyone else? No, I mean, to be honest, I'm quite new to Usain. I've only recently joined, so I'm, I'm still learning everything myself. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm new here. Okay. Um, well, you're doing so, great. You're doing so, great. So yeah, I'm, I'm part of the kind of this security team for use in, in okay. the uk so okay yeah and you've gone through all the sia training license have you previously yeah but i'm in-house now so i work for use and not for a garden company so okay. obviously i don't need to be sia because I'm, I'm i work for use and but yeah you're in-house yeah probably 10 15 years ago yeah i was sia so and yeah, i've done that as well is it too much of me if i just ask you just to let them know next time yeah i'll have a chat a photographer them. yeah showing an interest like say, as long as you're on public property that's that's fine by all means go out like you've done great approach yeah. and just suss them out you know exactly right use your intelligence use your we training to, we have to be obviously yeah. mindful as well we want to protect our property but yeah. i have no problem with people just coming asking questions but yeah. it was stop him delete that okay it's not on, mate. Yeah. That's, no, that's, that's fine. abusing I'll, the photographer's I'll rights. Have a, I'll have a chat. Thank you. All right. Thank you. No worries. Thank you very much. It have was a good Tim, day. was it? Yes. Thank you, All Tim. Right. Have a good day. Thank Cheers. you. So that is the way to do it. Tim, obviously, much more professional than the guys in there. So he will now go in there, pass the education on, and I'm sure it will filter through down the chain to all the other Usen logistics companies. So, job done here. Now, we are in a flight restriction zone. I'll just show you on the screen there. We're not far into it, but we are in it. So we will not be taking the drone up. We are in the EGBK Northampton Sywell flight restriction zone. So, no drone on this one. And another vehicle coming onto site now, European Logistics, TFO. So the place is absolutely huge. We can't take the drone up, but I've stepped back quite a bit so you can get the whole building in perspective. And then I've got lots of these trailers down here, all with the same logo. Can't quite make it out myself. So that's it. One last thing to do. Let's hide the key ring and move on. So the location of the DJ audits key ring on this video is just behind this sign down there. You can just about see the blue. Yep, there it is. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. And I'll leave that one there, guys. I think Usen Logistics now have learned the lesson. Photography in a public place is not illegal and should not be obstructed. Just leave them alone and they will leave you alone. 
approach us with respect and we'll give you that respect back. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.